Very few walls are standing in homes here in Linwood, but as you walk through this home, it looks as if a bomb went off. We talked to people all day who hid in their basements, saying that they're thankful that no lives were lost. Our ears popped and it was like, boom biggest boom I've ever heard. Homes in Linwood were at the mercy of violent winds and rain. Some homes with huge chunks missing, others completely flattened. I had my dog with me and, and uh, God was with us. That's all I can say. Fran Jones and her husband hid in their basement minutes before their tornado hit. Next door is Susan Levy, their home, just a shell. This is the kitchen eating area. That's the master bedroom. You can see my clothes. The clothes are totally untouched. So much damage makes you wonder how no one was seriously injured. Deep down in your heart and your gut, a deep sadness. And then you go, I'm okay. My husband, my partner of 50 years is okay. And you go, you know, we're blessed. It's all right. Volunteers came from near and far to help trying to salvage what was left. Well, a lot of this important stuff we didn't. Life. <laughs> the important things of life, the bell that my mother used to ring when she wanted me to come home. If the little things don't matter, just look at the response from Fran Jones when her mother's bell, more than 50 years old, was found in the debris. Sad but happy. That's all I can tell you. We're in Susan Levy's home right now. This basement steps below save their life basically because their home has no roof. We talked about the little things. They were able to salvage some of these books. It's from Susan Levy's great, great grandmother. Very old books, the little things. A nearby across the street, there was a wrestling team that came to help one of their teammates clean up their home. A lot of people being thankful here in Linwood. Reporting live, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News.